Hello, everybody, and welcome to my new podcast series on leadership. You are a natural leader. So what do I mean by that? I believe that when we enter into our life on Earth, we come with everything we could possibly need within us to lead our own life, to walk our path. And I do believe that we come here with an intention. There may be lessons that we've been working on in previous lives that we're here to work on this time. There may be certain ways that we want to make a contribution to the world. So we come here with that intent. And then parents, teachers, society project on us certain ideas about who they think we're supposed to be. It might be based on cultural norms, beliefs our families have, or maybe what they were taught by their parents about what is appropriate behavior, appropriate way of being in the world, of interacting in society. So we start to adapt. We start to suppress anything about us that doesn't fit with that paradigm because we want to belong. So we may suppress the parts of us that would lead. And what I mean by leadership is listening to our inner voice and acting on that wisdom. And that might be very different from the shoulds and shouldn'ts that we get from our conditioning, from the people around us. So when we start to step into our natural leadership, We might have people saying, that's not like you. What are you doing that for? And maybe cautioning us against stepping out of what they perceive as our comfort zone, what they think it's okay for us to do. We may shake up our own world by stepping into our leadership. We may even have some of our connections drop away because they were formed based on the person that we had been, the person that we had been conditioned to be. So if you were the quiet one, the one who sat in the background, or maybe let your boundaries be crossed by others, and you start to speak up, you start to show up, you start to stand up for what you believe, maybe that will create some friction. Maybe some of the people in your life won't cope well with that. They, there might be pushback or they might step away. So if you're going to step into your natural leadership, you can't control for outcome. You can't decide, I will do this as long as I get to keep these people in my life, as long as I get to keep this job, this situation, this path I have been walking exactly as it is because then you're still conforming to something that was created through your conditioned self and not from the natural leader that you are so if you're going to step onto a path of discovering your inner leader and letting that part of yourself come forward it could shake up your world accept that I'm not even telling you to be prepared for that because preparation is still control. In true leadership style, we learn how to attune ourselves to our inner wisdom so that we know what needs to happen in that moment. It's like when you take martial arts training and you're sparring with somebody, you don't know the next punch that they're going to throw your way or the next kick. You've trusted through your training to respond appropriately. Unfortunately for a lot of us, the training we've gotten, the conditioning we've gotten growing up, the messages we've received as little girls and boys is to act a certain way, which might have served us very well as children so that we learn to behave, we learn to get along with the expectations projected on us and that therefore we were accepted in our families. Those expectations may not serve us as adults. We may not 
do very well in a situation like that. I remember many years ago being at a folk festival and seeing this young girl up on stage performing a song for her family's culture. And she had this big smile on her face. She was doing all the movements and smiling along with the song and, and lip syncing to the words. When suddenly the recording cut out and her smile dropped away and she looked really angry. It was such an interesting contrast between the character she was playing with this big smile and all these movements and all of a sudden that all dropped away and this anger came up. She was probably embarrassed. She was probably uncomfortable. She was up there to play a role and the role had dropped away. What was behind it was the anger, maybe the shame, the frustration of now being on stage without everything required for her to play that role. How often are we playing roles? And behind that is our turmoil that we are not looking at or even trying not to look at so that we can play that role we've been conditioned to operate through. So if we're going to step into our natural leadership, we're going to have to face our inner turmoil. We're going to have to look underneath our conditioning and work through all those patterns that we were taught. If you just do this, you won't have to face that. But the reality is we all have to face our inner turmoil at some point and either the world is going to throw situations at us we weren't prepared for and don't know how to respond to, which are our best growth opportunities, because then we have to do some deep digging, or we can start turning inward now. What aspects of myself have I not allowed to come forward? What parts of myself have I been conditioned to hide away because I've been taught that the world will not accept them? How do I allow those parts forward? And it might be those parts wouldn't operate well in the world because they're not conscious. But as we allow them up internally and we work with them and they become more conscious, they may become very constructive, dynamic, beautiful parts of ourselves that help us step into our leadership. So if you've been taught to take a back seat let others speak, be polite. You might never give yourself permission to be the first person to speak up at a meeting, to be the one to share your idea fearlessly without worrying about whether anybody else will agree with it. You might have been taught that that was rude. So now you have to rethink your conditioning because if you never contribute your ideas, nobody else gets to benefit from them. And if your ideas can't be challenged because they're never brought forward, you don't get to grow either. And maybe you don't get to find out that you have some really great ideas that other people have wanted to hear all along. So this week, as you start to contemplate what being a natural leader is, I give you this exercise to do. Notice when you're limiting yourself. Notice when you're editing your comments, when you're holding back on something you want to express and ask yourself, is this something that requires more internal contemplation before I express it? Is this something that just needs to be processed internally? Or is this something that I want to put out in the world that it feels like it's time to put out in the world, but I'm holding it back. And then ask yourself why? What is the fear? What is the message that was handed down to you that said, don't do that? And is it time to question that? I grew up being taught children should be seen and not heard and being told that if an adult was listening to me, they were merely humoring me. I had nothing to say of any value. 
For me to do the work that I do, I had to be willing to challenge that. And the fact is, you don't suddenly step into adulthood and go, oh, now I'm an adult. Now what I have to say has value. Now people will listen. That's not how we work. We still have those parts of us inside that still feel five years old or younger, that still worry that we're crossing a line when we step into our natural way of being. We need to work with our inner children to help them realize you're in an adult body now. You have agency. You can make other choices. And I have a lot of techniques that I use directly with clients to help them access those parts, to help those parts become conscious and make those new choices. So don't worry if that's not something that you know how to do right now. If you are struggling with those internal patterns, feel free to reach out to me at BenitaSummers.com and we can connect and I can help you nurture those parts of you that have been waiting in the wings all these years to step out on stage. So take some time this week. Notice when you're holding yourself back. Ask yourself why. That's a good start to being at least aware of the areas where you could come out on stage a little more. You could speak up. You could take the chance that maybe that fear of rejection is just within yourself. You could start to have a new perspective on this. Realize when your ideas about yourself may not have any foundation except that which you were taught growing up. It may not be relevant in your world today. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much for tuning in my podcast.